Fox has officially entered the chicken coop. Filter, and she is the queen of New York. Yeah. Is a three prong story, so make sure you guys stick around. First and foremost, it's entered the church. Wokeness has officially entered the church. Now, guys, I heard about this before, but it finally it came out. And of course, some of these churches are going completely woke. We are living in a very, very perilous time. Some of us even believe that it is actually the end times. And of course, the Bible is coming much, much truer every day. If you guys want to call me a Jesus freak, go right ahead and do so. I am a Christian, even though I'm not the best in the world. But you're allowing wolves into the. You're actually allowing wolves into your church. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but you're actually allowing demonic forces in there. Now, guys, like I said, this is a three-pronged story. Okay, you guys saw what, of course, has occurred in this church in New York, and of course, is occurring in other churches out there. Now, you've got woke pastors. You had just one pastor out there the other day who had a lot of bling bling, a lot of product. I actually, get robbed mid sermon. I will leave the link in the description box uh, to that story. But here's the thing, though. People are not talking about the actual other side of the coin here of what could actually happen. Now, guys, we've had this conversation on multiple occasions about how wokeness is destroying the country and it's destroying sports. As a matter of fact, this video right here will be going in all three wokeness playlists. By the way, I've actually read in the playlist. i got a little bit more work to do on that, and I'll be doing it tomorrow. These videos, by the way, are being made, of course, on Monday night for Tuesday. All together, it's four, two on Gear Sheet 33, and two here. Now, guys, here's the thing. We just found out that a uh, Texas a Texas cheerleading squad just booted a, uh, a trans girl off the cheerleading squad. Now, guys, there's one thing that I did not focus on, and that right there was the aspect of possible uh, physical violence. Apparently, the, uh, the, trans, uh, the trans girl um, tried to choke another girl. And the other girls, of course, they basically called it out. They basically said, you have a, you know... Got to keep things clean. And, of course, as you guys are seeing right here, um, this person has been booted off the, uh, the cheerleading squad. And this entire ordeal is probably going to become a very, very big deal. Now, I caught this story earlier before I went to my doctor's appointment from Tim Poole. He's the one I actually reported on. He also reported on the story, but I'm going to get to here real soon. Because it is actually important, and believe me, it all ties together. Because, as you guys can see, the wokeness is getting out of control, and they're ramming it down our throats. Now... Here is the main thing that people are not talking about, okay? And I've had to say this on multiple occasions. I am not anti-LGBTQ. I am anti-the wokeness. Now, guys, I did a video the other day about how uh, these uh, predators have actually entered the LGBTQ ploy. As a matter of fact, they got Gays Against Groomers banned off of Twitter. Basically, what it is, they're trying to claim LGBTQ status. Now, I'm not saying that this individual in Texas was, was doing this. The reason why I'm bringing this issue up, as you guys can see, it's getting sicker and sicker and sicker and more twisted. And they don't realize that they're actually killing themselves off. Now, guys, I've talked about this before. Who's got the highest suicide rate in the country? The LGBTQ community. It's possible that some of these people who do have actual, honest to God, physical gender dysphoria. And by the way, we will be talking about the physical aspect here in a second. It's possible that some of these people who have gender dysphoria are simply doing this because they're being allowed to do it in that community. We haven't gotten any actual facts in this particular case. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, and you guys know me, I am a staunch advocate for women's sports. I don't think that biological men or trans women should be in the sport, even if they've actually transitioned. There's just too many physical advantages. Some of these girls may get hurt. Also, something else, too, go back to the whole Leah Thomas thing. I talked about the whole Riley Gaines exposing the entire ordeal. That dude right there had not fully transitioned and actually still had his dong. Okay, so you're looking at possibly sexual assault, sexual rape. You're looking at that right there. And, of course, now you get this person who chokes this girl who claims, I barely touched her, when in reality we all know that men's hands are much, much bigger and they can cause a lot of damage. Then again, it could have been the girl's way of acting out to get the girl out of the locker room. Either way, the, the person should not have been in the locker room to begin with. Shouldn't even been on the cheerleading squad. Then again, the, the Carolina Panthers, of course, they now have uh, transgender, tran uh, transgender uh, cheerleaders. But... The thing is this right here, though. That said individual may be going in there. And, of course, I've said most of this is nefarious bullcrap. A lot of these dudes are just claiming to be women so that way they can get close to women. Like I said, you never, ever, ever trust male feminists. Ladies, you don't trust me. I understand that only about 2% of you actually watch this channel, but the 2% out there, you never trust a male feminist. They all have nefarious means, and they all have a plot. Trust me on this right here. The thing is this right here. 
What if you get somebody who actually genuinely does not know that they're being used for nefarious means, that they actually think it's okay? What happens when said individual gets rejected? You see, the LGBTQ community allowing this to occur is only going to hurt their community more. And the reason why it's going to hurt them more is that you're actually going to get people out there who don't exactly agree with this and don't have an actual, uh, let's just say they don't really have the, how do I say, they don't really know what the hell they're doing, okay? It's a very small percentage, but what if they do this right here and then all of a sudden the public turns against them and people start to shame them? Then they're suicide, then they, you know, they may actually do the deed. We've talked about this on multiple occasions. Now, guys, this is one of the main reasons why I don't like this wokeness crap is because it hurts both communities, whether you know it or not. You've got maps, you've got child predators trying to get to the LGBTQ community right now, trying to claim LGBTQ status. I called this a long time ago. I said that they would actually enter that ploy and it would make everybody in the whole world think that these people were all, they were all actual child predators. We all saw the stuff that occurred in Texas. I made a video on this today where kids are being exposed to drag shows. Some of these people right here are being pushed into it. The parents are pushing their kids into it, which, by the way, these are all bad parents. And, of course, the parents who are pushing these trans these these these, uh, these trans women into these sports, they're pretty freaking bad and pretty freaking disgusting themselves. You're actually putting your own child at a much, much higher risk of possibly doing more harm to themselves and doing harms to others. You see, there are two sides of the story here. I know I focus mostly on the people who, quite frankly, are being affected the most, the actual girls who have gone out of their way to actually get accomplishments, to actually do the sport themselves, free of a freaking dude coming in. But at the same time, if you're a parent of one of these trans girls and you're throwing them into the sport, you're causing more damage to your own child as well. And as I said before, now you've got people believing that entire community over there is nothing more than a bunch of groomers. This video right here could get bad results. But here's the deal. It gets a lot worse. This past weekend in England, we found out that uh, this guy, which, by the way, we're about to play a clip of, was arrested for posting a meme on the Facebook. And, of course, the, uh, the arrest was over. Uh, this guy caused someone some anxiety. Let's roll this. And ultimately, what, what I'm getting to with this segment is the forcing of an ideology upon a populace. Police criticized over arrest for gay swastika post. They say, the Times reports, Officers from Hampshire Constabulary have been criticized for arresting an army veteran over a social media post. The 51 year old former so uh, soldier had shared an image of a gay and transgender pride flag in the shape of a swastika. To clarify, this is a very common meme where you take the pride flag and when you put it in position rotating around, the triangles on the edge form the shape of a swastika. The officers also arrested Harry Miller a former policeman, when he intervened. Three officers visited the veteran at his home in Aldershot this month, saying that an alleged hate crime had been reported. When they returned on Thursday, they were confronted by Lawrence Fox, the actor come political activist, and Miller, who successfully challenged College of Policing guidelines on so-called non-crime hate incidents at the Court of Appeals last year. Guidance issued by Police National Standards Body last week emphasized that people involved in political and social debate must not be stigmatized because someone was offended. Well, let me just show you the video from Andy. No, he's, he's posted this. You can see the police officers here arresting a man, and they say it's because his image caused anxiety. Question. What about the anxiety caused by him when someone posts the flag and it's a truth in its, in its, in its original form? Why is it that you can post your flag and when it causes someone anxiety, you don't get arrested. But when he makes a point about your flag and the authoritarianism, he gets arrested. Why is it that socially it is the women cowering in the bathroom who should be punished? No, they should not be forced to hide in their bathroom terrified. Also, a retired police officer who came to that guy's aid, he was also arrested as well. Guys, this right here, and even though that happened in England, that right there could happen here. It could also happen, and it's more than likely if it occurs, it's going to happen in much, much bluer states. Go back to that church earlier. That was in New York. And by the way, I'm not trying to bash the city of New York. I know people from New York who do not stand for this stuff. I'm just saying, look at what the politicians are pushing. Look at everything that's going on. It's possible that crap right there could get here, so you might want to get ready for it. Now, something else, too, needs to be said. Did you notice that when you put all those signs together, you put all those flags together, you get a giant swastika? You see, guys, the reason why the, reason why the LGBTQ community uses the rainbow is because the LGBTQ community, most of those in there are atheistic. They're anti-God. They're anti-Christianity. 
the rainbow was was a covenant was given to Noah, where it was a covenant that was established that God established with Noah that he would not destroy the earth again after the flood. He did that by using a rainbow. It's basically a mockery. It's basically blasphemy. But when you see what they do to their own flag, they're kind of screwing up their own blasphemy, and now I think we know the real reason why. You can actually pinpoint it now that they're actually the new modern-day Nazis. Yes, I said that. If I get a strike on this video, guys, then trust me, you will be finding out through Gear Issue 33 what the hell happened to this channel. The thing is this right here. This crap right here has got to stop. We're now seeing who the hell the real bullies are. Okay, we're now seeing this. People who are whining, people who are crying. And here's something else, too. The person who called the cops to that individual that got arrested, that guy, chances are they probably weren't trans or they probably weren't gay at all. They're probably just taking advantage of it for nefarious means. Guys, we're living in a nefarious world. People are using this crap and they are abusing it to get laughs, to get what the hell they want, to get validation. The crap's got to stop. And I got a feeling at some point in time, and YouTube do not ban this video because I said this, I got a feeling at some point in time people are going to start taking, their, are probably going to start taking matters in their own hands and things are going to get a lot worse. Guys, John Claymore, if you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, sign up in the comment section. I'm going to get you guys' thoughts, and I'll see you guys later.